Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. And we're going to get right into it here. I believe that's the first time I've ever said welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Because I've all my videos I've started like, oh, Mario's asleep. So we could actually go there right now if we wanted to. But we're not going to. So that's where you fight the second Bowser. If you go over here, we have a toad that will tell us that different types of coins are worth different much, or worth different amounts. Oh, we could get this star now. I didn't, I mean, when you get 15 stars, then this guy appears. And when you get 50 stars, he appears again. If you catch him, then you get a star. In Super Mario 64 DS, you do not get a star. You do not get stars from catching the bunny. Because, well, they gave the bunnies, like, a completely different role in Super Mario 64 DS. There's, like, they're hidden all throughout the castle. And each, and each depending on which character you are, you're, uh, depending on which character you are, there's different locations. Okay. God, unhand me, brute. I'm late. So, wait, I must make haste. The shiny thing... Mine! It's mine! Finders, keepers, losers! Wait, wait, wait! Ouch! Take it then! A gift from Bowser it was! Now let me be! I have a date! I cannot be late for tea! Yeah. So, unlike in Mario 64 DS, you can actually carry these guys around. And apparently there's some glitch involving this gut thing that allows you... Did I just see a fish? Whatever. Well, no, I hate drowning bunnies. No, he's breathing, he's breathing. <laughs> so yeah, you, you don't need, even though there's a star door, there's actually no uh, limits. I don't know, maybe they wanted to put one in, but they didn't. But, now while the last hood was useless, this one is not. You talk to him, hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. Yeah, yeah, so if you lose your hat, oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. Okay, so this guy's useless. Hey Mario, did you know there are enemy worlds? Yeah, it's true. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. And then, all of a sudden, whoa, this toad's awesome. There are three toads like that in the game, and that's the first one. Here we go! I just did that by accident. That was one of the tricks on WaltonDell.com. Stand on the fence in your star animation, and it was rated actually hard to do on purpose. Or medium, which is like... It was rated medium hard. But... I just did it without even thinking. I could go back, try to do that, and I wouldn't be able to. Anyways, at least we got a star in the first three minutes. Um, in a cool way, too. So this is World 6, Hazy Maze Cave. I've, I've always liked this place. Um, we'll get the stars in order here. Now, there's two ways to go. To the right goes to... We'll read the sign. Oh, both ways. Right, work elevator, cloudy maze, left, black hole, underground, lake. This is one place where you might need a map, but luckily they give you one. And you get the upside down Christmas tree. If anyone gets that reference, which I absolutely doubt, anyone will get that reference, then, you know, you can obviously tell me. But no one's going to get that reference. So, as you're going through here, there, you see stuff up there. Oh no, I always die here. This, I, I mean, I'm just jumping across. This black hole is the bane of my existence. I can't tell you how many times I've died here with a high amount of coins. What? Wait, 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 I, I, I died? I, what, wait, whoa, whoa, ho, ho, hold on. Hold on. Th th those things just kill. P oh my god. Mm. 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 <sighs> Makes me so angry. So this time we'll go this way. I mean, don't forget, like, if you're sliding on your belly down, you're screwed. This star, I never knew how to get when I was a kid. I mean, I knew... 
I knew how you were supposed to get it, but I never knew how to do it. If that makes any sense. I don't want to spoil, like, a later star, but... More on that later. But that's a star that haunted me forever. I mean, just look at its placement, for one thing. You butt stop right before the ground, you'll well, at least minimize your damage. And now we're at the underground lake. Now, I didn't figure out until very recently that this sea monster that you use to get up to that island, you actually control where she goes, depending on which way you're facing. I never knew that. I, I, I swear, I never knew that. I also didn't figure this out my first time, but you butt stomp, and then you can actually go on her head. I always just, like, jumped up to her head. And, well, we were able to get up here. The coins up there, too. This level only has 126 coins, so it's kind of hard to get 100 coins in this level. So that's why I'm going to skip the red coin star for now, because I really don't feel like getting 100 coins right now. But, yeah, the red coin star is definitely when I would want to get the 100 coins. Elevate for 8 red coins. Yeah, so I'm actually going to skip it this time. Okay, yeah, that's right, you can only get one of their coins. Well, I guess I've already been getting coins, so... Should we just get the 100 coin star now? Should we? I've, al I've already gotten as many coins as we could possibly get. Well, why not? Shoot, now I can't go back on it, because I already said we would. Hmm. Well, one of the things I'm most worried about with the coin star is the blue coin switch, because... Well, there are seven blue coins from the blue coin switch in this level. More than any other level, but it's more of their placement that bothers me. Because I don't have a power up that will make it a lot easier. Oh, I hate this place. I hate this room. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of this room. I hate this room. No, not down here. Not down here. That room up there. Down here is the toxic maze. But I hate that room up there. And why? Well, I'll leave it as a cliffhanger. These money moles do not give you coins, but if you kill eight of them, they will give you a one-up. So I'll do that, because I've already killed like four of them. Yes. I don't really know how many times you can do that, but hey, it's a easy trick for one-up. Now in the DS version, when you go in here, it like, stuns you right away, but in this version, you just walk through it, and you just kind of gradually take damage. It's not bad. I mean, it's toxic gas, but it's not bad. The blue coin switch is right here, and we don't have the power up yet. I mean, these bats all give you one coin each. I kind of hate... This is going to be the last time that I get the 100 coins in, like, an early mission, because I really hate spoiling the whole world and, like, not getting the stars there. Like, I wish it was just like Banjo-Kazooie, where you didn't need to get worked out of the world every time you got a star. I really hate getting these blue coins. But at least it's not like the DS version, where you... Okay, did I get one of those? Okay, okay, I can, I can deal with it. I can deal with that. But if you miss those blue coins... Because like I said, there's only 126 it's in the coins in the levels. It's not an option. To miss the blue coins. Now this is how you get two stars. There's two stars here, okay? There's the amazing emergency exit star, which is the fourth star, and then there's the secret exit. Oh my god, I'm gonna die on it. Well, I survived. But where do we go from here? Okay, I'm gonna kill this bat and get a coin. It's absolutely necessary that I do that. Now, the star, the secret star, never gave me any trouble. The one where it's like, alternate emergency exit, or... Yeah, the first star, amazing emergency exit, never gave me a problem. Navigating the toxic maze, which is the first star you're supposed to get here, I could not figure out how to do it. But today, it's the, e I mean, logically, it's the easier of the two. Because... 
you're not jumping blindly. There's actually a hint. For some reason, I never got it. Maybe it's because it was just... Like, where it is, is where we just were, where we were getting the blue coins. I gotta kill that bat. I need a coin. I cannot go in there without a coin. But this is terrible. Remember what we said about dying from damage on the blue coin? I, I got 52 coins. We have no choice but to press on. Okay, you face away from them, I think. Okay, okay, okay. We did it. We did that well. Um... So we're gonna go there now. Um, shoot, we failed. Yep. Shit. Mamma mia. That sucked. So you know, I'm gonna do something a little odd here. I'm just gonna start the next video. Well, I'm gonna start the next video up with the 52 coins and start it up down there. But, in this video, it's not gonna be over yet. We're gonna get another star before it's done. Okay. How's that? Well, we're gonna get two easy stars. First star we're gonna get. Now, before I did that toxic maze thing, I never even knew about the six star. So I'm like, wait, there's a six star? And then it said, watch for rolling rocks. Now, I forget, like, when I did this, this might have been after I knew about video game walkthroughs, but I'd like to say, I think I figured this one out on my own. What you do, basically, it, it's different the way you do it in the DS version, but, and no, I did, I, I did, I played this one before the DS version, I mean, I said this was the first game I ever played. Yeah, you, jeez, no, I hate opening the door by accident, but you wall kick up here, in the DS version, you do not do this, you, you use, I think it's Mario, or Wario, and that star right there, we'll get to that one later. But yeah, that's the sixth star of the level. It's called, I think it's like Watch for Rolling Rocks. Yeah. And, uh... So before we're done, we're gonna get one more star. We're gonna go into Hazy Maze Cave, but we're not gonna get one of the six stars in Hazy Maze Cave. What? Well, yeah. We're gonna go to a secret level, which is the only world in this game that actually has a different level with stars that don't count, or one star in this game, that does not count for Hazy Maze Cave. It counts as a castle secret star. In the DS version, Big Boots Haunt has a similar thing, but in this game, this is the only one. Whoa, I didn't take damage? We. So I guess that can count as one of the mini slides, but I mean, you can walk down that. So what you have to do is, well, you may have noticed there are some doors around here. That door is caged. It is possible to open that door without the, well, the item that, it's the same item we need from Jolly Roger Bay. I just don't know how it's done. I mean, well, let's go! <laughs> Okay, this is just crazy. This is one of the stupidest videos of all time. And now it just gets stupid. Doesn't it just get stupid? Yeah, it does. And I'm guessing I'm gonna go down there and I'm not gonna know how to do it. Shoot. That would've been so awesome! So, is that all you have to do? I don't think I ever bothered even trying doing that, but... Okay. I thought I was dead, and I wasn't. This has got to be one of the most mixed up, crazy videos. I talked about how I wanted to, I always died in a black hole, but was not concerned at all about the rolling rocks that were hitting me at the same time. Got the first star, but aside from that with ease, and then I tried to do 100 coins. Got the blue coins without trouble, but oh, looks like our health is low. We can find them okay, but uh-oh, here goes our health. And then we uh, decide to go down here, and guess what? I show the other door, I'm saying I have no idea how to get the... Oh, it opens, but then I die. Uh, it's... I'm summarizing the whole video is just crazy. So I guess we're going to do it again? You're supposed to need the... I don't want to spoil the item, even though I'm sure everyone knows what it is. And I didn't do it. How did I do it the first time? It sucks. 
This sucks. This sucks big time. This is the stupidest thing ever. It's just like the thing that outside the castle. I forgot to mention that in the video. Jeez. I hate this. What, what did I do differently? Did I, did I stomp from a higher thing? Did I stomp from a higher height? A lower height? Well, that wasn't even on the mark. Well, now I want to do it! Why couldn't I have just failed my first time? Why couldn't I have just done that? Okay, this is the stupidest thing ever. Like, why don't, why don't you just do this to add to it? And you might be saying, oh, you're wasting your time. Well, I'm not, because I wanted this thing to get over here. And of course, now it might be too late. But yes, that's right. I did recently find out that you can actually control where it goes. This video is terrible. I know. You say all you want. Um... So now we go in here. And we go into the same entrance. Welcome to the Metal Cat Switch Course. Once you step on the cat switch, all the grid blocks will become solid. When you from your body in a metal cat, you can walk underwater. Try it. Yeah, so this is how you're supposed to get that stuff. But gee, I I'm speechless. I don't know how to describe what just happened, and then I died. I mean, I was afraid I would do that, and I did. Uh, is it safe to say I just suck at games? Yeah. So now all the metal caps that make Mario invincible, it just, um, the metal cap is awesome, the music is good too. It's not the same music, it's a different one. coins by walking around. Now, if you were, if this was, um, the DS version, there would be a, I think, not a Switch star, but there would be just a secret star just lying here that you could get by, uh, doing something else. Anyway, yes, that was one of the castle secret stars. Now, if you let the w river sweep you, it actually sends you to the waterfall of its in the entrance to the castle. So that's going to be the end of this video. So how do we end off one of the stupidest, craziest episodes ever? I think we burn ourselves in this lava. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. Mm -hmm. Burn again. And die. Why? Mamma mia. What was the point of that? Nothing whatsoever. Why? Why am I recording this? Jeez. It's like the stuff I do after a recording.